am Emmy Jo, the Book Slayer 77. Sorry I have not um, made a video in a few days. Um, I I have read a few books since then. Um, my last post um, right now. I just finished, if you can see, Bad Bloods, November Rain um, by Shannon A. Thompson. I give it a 4 out of 5 stakes. That book was really interesting. It's uh, set in a dystopian uh, <clears throat> area where bad bloods have unique powers. They basically, they're all not adults. They're all under the age of, I believe, so it says like under 18. Um, but what they do is they capture them and they kill them because there was a war. One of them had hurt somebody, so there's an ongoing government. There's a lot of political gain in there. Um, one person is all for seeing them as, you know, not harmful. So it's basically the humans against the bad bloods. So the bad bloods are all on... Um, Hide out basically they're hiding out um, some have left from their families uh, some were turned in by their families now Serena who we meet is one of the main characters this book is told from two different point of views Serena and Daniel Serena is 17 yeah I believe that's what they say sorry I have a book hangover I was up you know all night reading um, Basically, she is with Robert and their little family of gang, not really a gang, but a group of what they call family. Now, and they're, you know, told that the other area where Daniel is in um, doesn't really exist. And if they do, you know, it's, you know, a war within them, which is very weird because you'd want to keep them all together like all of them come together and unite to go after to overthrow the government to kind of be like hey you know yeah we're not bad so you know I, I don't understand why they don't try to come together but when Serena is about to be um, death penalty so to speak someone frees her and she gets away. However, they chase and she runs into Daniel who has healing powers. He saves her and then they, you know, run to where he's taking her in and she doesn't know if she should trust him because she wakes up all like, oh my gosh, what happened? You know, what's going on? And she realized that he's not going to harm her because they've been told other bad bloods will turn them in or throw them out or they have been killed and in some way shape or form so then you kind of you know you're like okay what's gonna happen well Daniel has this other person who takes her back home because she doesn't say that she's with you know Robert and them she just says that she's with her family she doesn't actually she didn't really say she just lets them assume so it goes from there now I would say this book is um, about 233 or 34 pages. It's really quick uh, read. There is a second book out and a third and I believe a fourth. I have not gotten into those. Definitely check this one out. It's kind of like a Romeo Juliet type thing. Like, because you find out that Robert and Daniel, they have am animosity towards each other. I'm not going to say really how or why because they don't really say too much um, but Serena does try to find out more now towards the end it does look like she's going to be with Daniel and his gang because they feel they can benefit more from her power because she can absorb everybody's power like when Daniel saves her that night she absorbs some of his um, she doesn't absorb everybody's, but she got his, and so now when something happens, she heals right away. So, it goes back and forth with that. I definitely recommend, like I said, picking this book up, checking it out. It's a quick read, so it's not like, 
you're going to be like, oh my goodness, it takes forever. No, that's not the case with this book. Now I'm looking down my next book um, that I'm going to start tonight is The Sweetheart Sham, Danielle Ellison. It says she's faking it with the wrong guy, a Southern Charm novel. Um, I haven't read any of this person's um, books before, so but I've heard really great things. I'm hoping to, you know, get into this further and check it out. Again, if you guys want to hear any other reviews and other books that I've read, because I've read a lot of books like Harry Potter, Divergent series, Hunger Games, Maze Runner, um... I read uh, the Darkest Mind trilogy or Dark Mind. I read like a lot of books, Babysitter Clubs, you you name it. Um, James Patterson is high up there with his Women's Murder Club. Um, Witch and Wizard by him. I also read his Confessions um, by him. So definitely let me know if you want me to talk about you know some other books. Or if you want me to read other books, uh, check them out. Or if you have written a book and you want me to give you some input, I definitely have no problems doing that. Uh, you can send me an email, thebookslayer77 at gmail.com. And hit me up in the comments. I would love to check out what you guys think. And if you like this post in this video, hit like. Subscribe down below and also have a great weekend. I know everyone's probably still shopping from some new books that are coming out, like Jennifer L. Armentrout. I believe she had one not too long ago, Colleen Hoover. A lot of people have like some, some books that are anxious to read or get high up on the list. So let me know what you guys think and have a great weekend. Again, this is Emmy Joe, the book Slayer 77. Have a great day.